All right, if you got a Cloud Key Gen 2 Plus, which has the built-in hard drive, which is really, really nice, and you have a unified camera of any sorts, you got yourself a DVR camera system. All right, we got our stuff laid out here. The Again, the real cool thing about the Cloud Key Gen 2 Plus is it has that hard drive inside, which I'll uh, show you this real fast here. It's uh, pretty neat. Pops right out. We actually have a one terabyte Toshiba drive in it that uh, runs a 2.5. And of course, this records all of our footage, all of our cameras, everything's great. Plus, uh, it, it, it acts as the controller. It's the controller for the entire Ubiquiti network. So that works out pretty good. And uh, let's put this in. And then once we do that, we're gonna plug it in. Let's boot it up. Let's get the camera plugged in. And then uh, we'll configure the software. Okay, in order to make our Cloud Key DVR, we need to go to the Cloud Key. Let's click on that. And we want to install the Unify Protect. So we'll just click this right here, let it install, then we'll configure it. Okay, once it's installed, we're going to click on the Protect. We're going to go over here and adopt our camera we'll click on this g5 bullet because that's what we have and we're going to adopt it all right now that you got your g5 bullet adopted you can mouse over it you can see a thumbnail right there let's go to the dashboard when you click on that it shows you kind of an inside of everything uh, about the the cloud key the capacity the hard drive the ip address all of the current information. If you had some detections, they'd be already listed right here. Really, really nice. Just like any dashboard, especially with the Ubiquity products, you know, it's, it's going to be a, a nice, uh, easy to follow dashboard. Now, if you go back down to the unified devices, if you had more than one camera, say you had 10 of them, you know, they, they'd all list right here and of course you could change the uh, the view to have thumbnails to where it show all 10 cameras 20 cameras however many you wanted the next thing is you're going to want to move down to the live view that's probably the reason you uh, tuned into this video in the first place because this is what it's all about the 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 look of the camera and seeing all the cameras that you have we only have one camera in here so it's automatically going to default to this one camera but down at the bottom Click on the window, select live view, and you can add a live view. And the cool thing is that it starts off with four cameras, but you can change that. You can go to the grid and it'll say grid type four cameras. You can arrow down and go up to you know, 20, 26 cameras if you want to, or you can go back to the four cameras and you could say save and there it is. But it'll list the cameras right here. We only got that one camera, just drag them in to each camera, of course, we're gonna drag one camera in all four spaces because that's all we have loaded right now. Say save, there you go, four cameras. You could do full screen down here at the bottom. Move your mouse out of the way and that's exactly what you were looking for, right? There we go, let's make sure we see that that's live. And of course, this is being detected because my hand is moving around. Let's exit out of that come down to the uh, the play button. You go to the playback. This is pretty neat because it gives you a whole uh, historical reference to your right side, a timeline, if you will, of all of your footage. If you had footage down here, you just click on the time that you want and it'll, it'll start playing. Let's see if we can do something right here. This is live, of course. There we go. Clicked on it. Yeah, see, there's just nothing, nothing really recorded there yet. Let me see if I can, uh, yeah, there it is. Yeah, it's just not enough that's showing there yet. So uh, we move on down. We can go to the detections. This is pretty neat here because this will show all of your detections. If uh, Every time there's a detection, it's gonna show a, a video here. Up here, you got person, vehicle. This is really, really neat because if you just click on person, it'll detect only people, if that's what you're looking for. If you want, say you got a business with a parking lot and you got, uh, you got cars coming and going all hours of the night, you can click on vehicle and record just vehicles. You could also go down into the settings and even fine tune that to license plates to where it, it sees the license plate 
it knows that little AI built into it. It knows it's a license plate and it'll start recording. So this is uh, really, really neat here. You mouse over it and there you go. You can kind of see that clip, that little footage right there of uh, what was detected on all of the detections. So that, that works out pretty good. Move down to the insights. Insights is really helpful. Let's say somebody calls you up and says, hey, uh, we're missing something, you know, and, and I know it was there Wednesday, but I didn't see it yesterday, Thursday. Uh, so you can go and say, you know what, okay. Uh, and, and somebody had said they heard some, some noise about 11 o'clock at night or whatever. You can go to the insights and everything's set up for you for one day, seven day, one month up here in the upper right hand corner. You can click on the calendar and you can click on the day that you want, the start date, end date, hit apply, all your criteria here, and it'll show you the footage of that time. So then it's easier to scrub through it and find out, you know, exactly that piece of footage that you're that you're looking for. So that is really, really helpful when you're in that investigative mode, which is, uh, we don't like to be in that mode, but hey, when we need to, we need to. Down here's your system log, self-explanatory. Your settings, this is where you can uh, make your Unify Protect really uh, kind of work for you with, the, with, you know, just the way you want it to work. Uh, here's your detections only, your continuous. Now, when you first load this, it defaults to continuous, which is constantly recording all your cameras. And, you know, you don't really want that because you're going to use up all your hard drive space in, in no time. So you don't really want that. So we go to the detections mode and then uh, you can do smart detections. That's some of the AI that's uh, in here as well. You can name your cameras. When you do the um, schedule, you can add a new schedule. This is where you can schedule it to uh, detect at certain times. Say you want to detect something uh, just from midnight to 6 a.m. Any other time, don't want to detect anything. I just want to be able to see the cameras, but I want to detect at a certain time, maybe a two hour period, one hour window, whatever it may be. You can uh, set schedules for uh, for that so that uh, it'll record only at those times. So it's, it's pretty neat there uh, When you go to system, you can change your uh, time format uh, temperature Fahrenheit Celsius um, uh, Just a lot of other different things that you can do as well You can import files download files such as that, but yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it go back to the dashboard and uh, There you go. You, you've got a cloud key DVR slash NVR and it, if you already have the cloud key gen 2 plus Then you're you're halfway there grab you a couple of cameras and you got yourself a full system To to really get you started and uh, again, just keep adding cameras to that and you'll have a nice little uh, nice little system to uh, To protect your property your house, whatever it is all right, there you go, your Ubiquiti Cloud Key Gen 2 Plus and your Ubiquiti uh, camera here, whatever camera you have. Put these two together and you get yourself a nice DVR NVR system. And I'm telling you, you're gonna enjoy it. Hey, if you like this video, like and subscribe, click that notification bell in the upper right hand corner and you'll be notified when a new video comes out and you can watch it right along with us.